title we choose is Rabbit Breaks New Zealand Rat Rabbit which species Ornithologus cuniculus. The taxonomy of Ornithologus cuniculus, the domain Eukaryota, kingdom Metazoa, phylum Chordata, subphylum Vertebrata, class Mammalia, order Lagomorpha, family Leporida, genus Ornithologus and species Ornithologus cuniculus. Now we go to the introduction of Ornithologus cuniculus. The Ornithologus cuniculus native to Southern Europe and North Africa. The Ornithologus cuniculus has been introduced to all continents except Antarctica and Asia. In many countries, the rabbit causes serious aeration by soils by overgrazing and burrowing, impacting on native species that depend on underdamaged ecosystem. The coat is generally greenish which black and brown sometimes red sprinkle it throughout the underside of the body is pale gray and the underside of the tail is white melatistic specimen are not unusual the wild oritolagus cuniculus weight between 1.5 and 2.5 kg and are from 38 to 50 cm long domestic individuals may be larger this species have a smaller ears and shorter and less powerful legs. Oritolagus cuniculus is the ancestor of all domestic rabbits about 80 varieties. Domestic Oritolagus cuniculus vary tremendously in size, full types, coloration and generic appearance. Now we go to the next parts about the habitat. The desirable features of Ideal rabbit's habitat includes an annual rainfall of low 1000 mm, a sunny aspect, large soil and adequate cover close to feeding ground keeps closely grazed. Bruce Lee fields are preferred for the cover they provide but forests are also inhabited. Although rabbit can tolerate higher rainfall, they do so only on light soil and where others animals help to maintain a short soil. In wetter areas, Rabbit favor than land, dry stone river beds, limestone hill which upcropping rock, and sunny coastal slopes. They usually avoid cool and wet condition and are absent from alpine lands, unbroken scrub, and heavily built up areas. Now we go to the nutrition spots, the original geniculus, its grass and other herbaceous vegetations then is a diet of less than 40% fiber 10 and 20% protein for maintenance and 40% of protein for reproduction they can be very selective in their choice of food practice copography and ferment foods in the high guts eating a diverse diet of grasses, leaf buds, tree buds and roots. They also eat lettuce, cabbage, roots, vegetables and grains. Ritalagus caniculus is one of the several rabbit species that are known to recognize feces to obtain extra nourishment from their foods. The species has a very large cacum in which bacteria fermentation of otherwise indigestible materials occurs. The reproduction of Oritolagus cuniculus. Oritolagus cuniculus is capable of reproducing year round, but most breeding activity takes place in the first half of the year. Gestation is about 30 days, and the average litter contains 5 to 6 young. The reproduction includes placenta and sexual. The rabbits have an endogenous reproductive cycle mainly modulated by the land and nutrition. The females as young as 3 months already can break. The females provide maternal care to their altricial young. Meanwhile, males are not involved in caring for young. The next is communication. The European rabbit is usually a silent animal though it has a, at least two vocalizations. The most well-known is a high treble scream or squeal. This sound is uttered when in extreme distress, such as being caught by a predator or trap. During the spring, bugs express contentment by emitting grunting sounds 
when approaching other rabbits. These grunts are similar to shrill hiccups and are emitted with the mouth closed. Aggression is expressed with a low groan. Next, we move to the sleep behavior of the rabbits. The rabbits appear to be crepuscular, but their natural inclination is toward nocturnal activity. The average sleep time of a rabbit in captivity was calculated at 8 hours and 24 minutes per day. Rabbits often sleep with their eyes open so that sudden movements will awaken the rabbit to respond to potential danger. For the care and practice of the rabbits, it is important to make sure the case size and needed water availability, feed, ventilation, silent and no sound pollution, interaction with human and other animals, and record keeping. The first thing to take care is cage. There are two types or size of rabbit cage, which is for broodstock and grower. The cage must be enough space for the rabbit to protrude. The recommended size for the grower cage is 16, multiple 16, multiple 14 in inches, and it is for one or two individual per cage. Meanwhile, for the broodstock, the recommended size is 23.5 multiple 16, multiple 14 in inches and it is only for one individual per cage. The material of the cage must be stainless. The cage should be provided with drinker and feeder. Sometimes, bedding or nest pot is needed in the cage. The cage must be cleaned periodically. The water availability the water needs to be provided 24 hours, especially on the hot days. The supplement, vitamin and anti-stress could be provided via water tank. Make sure it is, has a proper piping system and not to forget to always clean in the water tank. The next thing that needs to be considered is feed. Proper amount of feed must be provided for the rabbit based on their life stage and condition. For blue stock life stage, 100 gram per day, 50 gram twice daily. It could be less provided if they overweight, or it can be more than that if the rabbit is breastfeeding its kid. For grower, it's similar to the broodstock, 100 gram per day, 50 gram twice daily. The condition of the pellet must be in good. It need to be stored at temperate temperature and hermetic storage. If the pellet becomes sluggish, replace it with a new one. Vegetable or hay need to be provided once a week in the diet. Sometimes when the rabbit cough with illness, they not eat the pellet and it need to be replaced with hay or rough hay. Then, ventilation and silent condition. Make sure the rabbit bun has an adequate ventilation. Structure or arrangement that could trap heat must be avoided. The farming site must be away from a noisy condition. If it can be avoided, make sure the noise are not continuously. As an example of a situation, cutting the grass using a long mower, cut the grass for 15 minutes and stop for another 15 minutes and repeat the steps. All of this need to be done because rabbit are easy to stress when the condition is too hot, cold and noisy. Because of the too stressed condition, they could get heart attack and death. Interaction with human or other animals. A cute animal such as rabbit will surely cough a lot of attention from other people. As a prey, they are cautious with their surrounding. Crowds from humans can lead them to a stress condition. Sometimes, animals such as dog and cat can give them a stress because of their instinct as a prey will tell them that its danger is coming. Therefore, it is important to control visitors and animals around the barns if anybody need to hold the rabbit, it is a must to make sure proper holding technique is applied because it can make them relax, comfort and not harmful to them. The last important thing that need to be considered is record keeping. Record keeping is important to keep track about the rabbit condition and performance in the barns. It also important for the future use such as sweating kindling date 
identify a pregnancy, medical or treatment info breeding program. Record keeping can be done by preparing a small piece of a paper with a table construct and it can be stick to the every cache of the rabbit and it is easy for barn keeper to keep update and know the condition of the own rabbit. There are three stages of life of rabbit. The first one is broodstock. At the age of 4 to 6 months, they can be kept as a broodstock. Uh, they must be put in a cage with suitable for their needs, such as pregnant broodstock. They also can be kept for up to 2 years. Kid is the newly born until weaning for up to 4 to 6 weeks. They need to be slowly changed the diet from milk to pellet. At this stage, there is a high mortality rate. Therefore, more care is needed for them to make sure they survive. The next one is grower. It starts after weaning until marketable size reach, which is 4 to 5 months. It must reach marketable size at the expected time or it could be a profit loss for the bun because of the feed cost. Now we go deeper in the three life stage of rabbit broodstock. It is important to identify the their sex, a bug or doe. Bug has a round shape at the genital, while doe has an oval and horizontally long. It is important to separate the bug and doe from keeping in the same cage. A cage for broodstock only for an individual. By separating them, we can avoid uncontrolled mating and fight between the rabbits. In a broodstock stage, it is important to keep sure their condition is always healthy, their weight and condition need to be monitored weekly or monthly, and data need to be recorded to analyze their performance and condition. If the condition and performance drop, they can be sold or slaughtered. For breeding part, Doe and bark must be in healthy condition and proper weight before mate. Our sad rabbit should be reduced if fits and left them out of cage to exercise. Proper weight for mating is around 2 until 2.5 kg. Doe that ready to mate when the vagina is red and moist. Bark can be used anytime for mate if they are healthy. It is better for them to rest a day before mating with another mate. Record the bar and doe weight, parent and date for future uses and avoid inbreeding. Mating can be done at evening or night. Make sure to put the doe into box cage due to its superiority area. If the bug having difficulties to climb doe's back, assist them by make sure the doe did not move. Mating is done when the bug fall back. Check if the doe vagina is wet after mating, then mating is successful. Move the dough back to its cage. If left for a long time at the bar, may cause them to fight each other. Record mating date, partner name, and the dough weight when mating happen. For pregnancy part, sometimes fall pregnancy happen. Dough shows the pregnancy sign but do not pregnant. At 12 days after mate, dough need to palpate to know if it's really pregnant or not. Better let veterinarian to palpate the dough for safety. Another method can be used by weighing the dough. If the weight is heavier than mating weight, we can assume the dough is pregnant. If fall pregnancy happen, the dough can be made again anytime if it is ready. Next part is kiddling and breastfeeding dough. Kiddling could happen after 28 until 30 days of mating. 1 until 2 days before expected kiddling, nest box need to be put in the dough cage. Important to make sure the nest box is static. Record the day of kiddling, number of kid alive and dead. Dough can be used to make again after 14 days if it is ready even they are still breastfeed their kids. Usually, after 10 days, kids will hop out from the nest box and it can be removed from the cage. Pregnant dough until breastfeeding needs to be provide extra amount of feed along with supplement as alfalfa hay. At kids level, if dough did not feed its kids, force it by putting the dough and kids into breastfeed box for 5 until 10 minutes or until the kids belly full with milk. Sometimes dough could not afford to feed its kids because too many kids, which is more than 8 kids, and sometimes they are sick or dead. The kids could be transferred to another doe that have similar age of kids. Make sure the surrogate 
mother can accept the kids by mixing the kids smell with biological kids important to monitor the surrogate mother to feed the kids if not transfer the kids to another dough before it's too late after 14 days of birth kids can hop around at this stage they are easy to get caught with ringworm and start their feet at the cage floor always check the kids and cage condition we have to treat them with medicine and clean the cage they also will slowly learn to eat pellets kids can be removed to grow a cage if they are weigh around 500 gram after one month. If not, they can stay with their mother until weight reach but not more than two weeks after one month. Hi, so for the grower part, when transferring the kids to the grower cage, make sure that one cage can be put uh, one to two kids and their parents should be record weight and date. So the pellets will be provided twice daily which is 50 gram morning and 50 gram in the evening each treat them when they sick and give them vaccine periodically record their weight weekly or monthly to monitor their performance so grower with good performance can be kept as fruit stock replacement and if their weight is less than marketable size even reaching marketable age with four to five months feed can be increases so the marketable size is two to three so for the slaughtering and packaging, make them fasting for a night before slaughter and it is easier by tying their feet upside down. So make sure to make it fast before they stress and become more complicated to slaughter. After slaughter, quickly remove its coat for head and tail and quickly pack the carcass into suitable plastic and place into the freezer. The meat and carcass could last up to 2 months. So for the health management of rabbits, rabbits is a very shy animals and it is a high prolificacy animals. It has high feed conversion efficiency and shorter generation intervals. So it's suited for rural and urban condition and can bred around the year. They also can be caught by variety of diseases. The common one is snuffle. So this snuffles, it is an upper respiratory tract infection. If snuffles is not treated properly, it will lead to pneumonia, which is a lower respiratory tract infection. So the symptoms is a sneezing, which is initial clinical signs in rabbit with respiratory problem with show clear mucus discharge from the nose. It wet or matte fur on the inside of front leg caused by continual nose wiping and snuffle can develop into pneumonia if the infection spread to the lower respiratory tract and lungs. So the causes is because of the bacteria, bacteria called Pastorella multocida and Staphylococcus subspecies bacteria which spread in the air and by contact with contaminated hands, cages, equipment or other rabbits. So the present in the environment and stress rabbits are more likely to be affected. So for the treatment, the usage of antibiotic example of cefadoxin and rufloxacin, cefadroxyl, azithromycin, sulfa drugs and azithra. And the recovery is rapid in treating early cases but failure can occur if it is delayed. So the prevention and control is the shed and cages should be kept as clean and a good ventilation is required to maintain air quality and reduce ammonia. Regular removal of fecal material and urine from the sheds and temperature range should be kept at a minimum between 18 to 24 Celsius as changes in temperature can trigger stress and out of break of snuffles. Next part is pneumonia. Advanced cases of snuffles may lead to pneumonia. Symptoms Labor breathing often with mouth open and head thrown back at late stage. Skin, eyes and mouth appears blue from lack of oxygen. Pneumonia is most easily diagnosed after death by checking the lung tissue. Causes Most often, Pastorella multocida but can also be caused by Staphylococcus species. This bacteria spread in the air and by contact with contaminated hands cage equipment or other rabbit treatment follow the antibiotic therapy for five to seven days and use of antihistamines and anti-inflammatory drugs prevention and control avoid stress in the rabbits by ensuring good air quality sheds and cage should be kept as clean 
good nutrition and fresh clean water is essential. Pneumonia is difficult to treat with antibiotics as by that time symptoms are observed, the infection is likely be well advanced. Next part is Pastoralosis Pastorella multocida spread through the air and objects or by direct contact with an infected rabbit. A rabbit is physically or emotionally stressed. This opportunistic bacteria may multiply out of control and serious infections could develop. Symptoms The affected rabbit shall nasal discharge, difficult in respiration, jerky respiration, severe condition leads to pneumonia. Treatment Nebulized antibiotics may be helpful with rhinitis and pneumonia. Systemic antibiotic therapy for at least 10 days. Prevention and control Avoid ammonia odor in rabbit sheds by removal of vessel and urine materials. Good ventilation Avoid mixing up of adult and young rabbits. Next Cordiosis. Cordiosis is caused by different species of protozoan parasites. Amira is one of the important diseases of rabies and is a major cause of morbidity and mortality. In commercially rare brawler rabies, cordiosis occurs in subclinical form leading to growth retardation and altered fit conversions. This disease occurs especially in young rabbits. Symptoms Diarrhea or scurrying, sometimes bloody fecal material with matted dirty fur around the anus. Rabbit appear lethargic, go off their feet, score, become dehydrated, and can die within 48 hours if left untreated. Causes A protozoan parasite, Emira, that invades the, the bile duct or intestine. The less common liver form damage the bile duct, which causes the liver to develop characteristic white spots. Treatment Cordiostats or cordiocycle drugs. Prevention and control Cordiostat can be added to feed at the palating stage at low levels to suppress coccidia infection. Good cash hygiene can interrupt Emira life cycle. Fecal material should be removed daily. Regular removal and disposal of fecal material. Next, ringworm. Ringworm is a fungal infection that often occurs in rabbits due to poor hygiene, poor nutrition, and other environmental stresses. Symptoms Affected rabbits develop raised, redundant, circular sores that are kept with white, brain like, flaky material. The sores generally appear first on the head and then spread to other areas of the skin. Causes The cause is most commonly the fungus Trypophyton mentagrophyte and occasionally Microsporum canis. Treatment Oral and topical antifungal drugs. Prevention and control Because infected rabbit can spread the disease to human and other animals, they should be isolated and treated. Good sanitary practice. Use disposable glove, cleaning cage, and equipment. Shock. Sometimes hypothermia and hypothermia may lead to shock. Symptom: grayish or bright pink mucous membranes, low body temperature, weak pulse, loss of consciousness causes. There are three kinds of shock treatment. Interval fluid therapy, antibiotic therapy, prevention and control. The prevention and control measure the hypothermia and hypothermia has to be followed. Hairball, princess of hair or fur or rabbit in the gastrointestinal tract. Symptom, reduce appetite or complete loss of appetite. Diarrhea or constipation, pain in abdomen. Causes. Boredom of rabbit deficiency or mineral on vitamin causes rabbit to eat or chew their own hair. Treatment Oral administration of digestive enzyme to digest their hairball. Prevention and control Feeding adequate vitamin and minerals in the feed. Avoiding boredom in rabbit. Disease prevention 1. Pushing rabbit from rabbit breeder. Fresh stock shall be pursued from no and rabbit breeder having good health history. 2. Follow quarantine charges. Quarantine is isolation houses shall be constructed and used for new animals suspected from infection and contiguous disease to control spread in infection. 3. Standard housing. 
The house must be constructed following high standard in respect of low space ventilation to avoid all dampness, draft and insect. 4. Sanitation and Hygiene Follow accurate sanitation and hygiene measure to keep the environment germ-free or with minimum possible low level of micro. 5. Immunization and Meditation Program Adopt to avoid required vaccination depending on disease preferences along with the preventive meditation. 6. Feeding care. Follow the quality, contamination free. 7. Timely isolate and treatment. The sick individual should be tended immediately to isolate and treat them. 8. Disposal of dead animal. Dead animal must be immediately removed and properly disposed or after post-mortem and diagnosis of disease. Quarantine. The six animals shall be separate from health rabbit and keep in isolation. During the isolation, the rabbit shall be examined thoroughly and treatment shall be given. Quarantine of newly pressured in rabbit is possibly the most important procedure that every rabbit shall be followed. The worker or personnel who handle, treat, or deem quarantine animal should not go into non quarantine areas until they have taken bath and changed clothes. Animal with similar condition, symptom, should be housed, ejected, and together and away from other animals to prevent transmission of disease. A fecal parasite among the most transmissible fecal samples should be analyzed at least one time while rabbits are in quarantine. Any rabbit which appear to be in worse hunting condition should be kept separate to be examined. Any rabbit who dies while in quarantine should be given a full postmortem. No rabbit should leave quarantine and be admitted to no healthy population until he is disease free for at least 30 days.